So if you want to see the product of peer pressure and Instagram influencers doing their job and doing their thing, then you've come to the right place because that is what's happened to me. So let's get into it. Hello guys, what is happening? It is Matt here from Sophisticated Obsession and today we are going to be doing a fashion video. So if the start of this video was slightly cryptic and you're a little bit like, what, what are you doing? It will all become apparent very, very soon. So if you follow a few Instagram fashion influencers, then you probably will have seen the product that I'm going to be reviewing today. And yes, this video is all about the fact that I have succumbed to the peer pressure and I have got what they are influencing. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the product. So today we are going to be reviewing the Bottega Venita Venata Potato Patata. These are the tire boots. Let's roll the B-roll. Okay, so before we actually get into the products themselves, just a little bit of background. I'd seen quite a few people on Instagram rocking these boots, and I think that yes, after an amount of time, I then kind of like got broken down and I then decided to go out and get these boots. So hopefully this video will give you a little bit more information and give you a more well-constructed and a balanced argument on whether you should then go and purchase these or not. Now, I will say that the overall packaging to this looks really, really nice. This color green is my favorite color in the whole wide world. So that's nice, but that doesn't really help you guys. Now, I do have to draw your attention to the fact that this box does look a little bit tarnished. Now that's not actually a problem with Bottega because I didn't actually buy these direct. This is from Mr. Porter. So Mr. Porter, if you are watching this, please sort it out and look after your products. Thanks. However, I will say that inside the box, it is much, much better. Okay, so inside the box, there is loads and loads of packaging to make sure that these boots are not tarnished in the box. And I will say that they have done very well with this. This, first of all, is not tissue paper. This is slightly thicker. It's kind of like a plasticky type of feel, but it is a little bit more hard wearing and so therefore will ward away any scuffs, any scratches. Also, we have a little bit of this plasticky foamy material as well to then give it a little bit more protection. And then finally, we come to the boots themselves. Let me try and find the other one, which then comes in their very own dust bags. Nice. Okay, so the boots themselves come in this very thick dust bag. The dust bag is like this felty material, so it will take away any sort of like dust particles that may have collected on your boots. I also really like the fact that there are two as well. You've spent a lot of money on these boots, and the last thing that you then want is for them to get tarnished in their own protective packaging. And here we go, these are the tire boots with the clear sole. Overall, I absolutely love the looks of these boots. I think that they are so versatile and also the right amount of quirky without being too like in your face and abrupt. Now, just to finish off the packaging, inside you will see that there are a few extra bits in here to then keep these nice and well padded. Inside you will see that there is a little bit more of this crinkly tissue paper and also some cardboard to then give this a little bit more of a mold so then these don't like crease or like or just get like misshapen in the box. Also really really deep down as well you will find some more tissue paper but this is not the crinkly tissue paper this is softer and also this is great if you want to then keep these in the boots like I do to then wick away any sweat and moisture that might then damage the leather. Overall I think that the packaging is very well done and very well constructed. My only criticism was literally just the the state of the box of when it was then presented, but apart from that, I'm absolutely made up with how these were then sent to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the features of these boots, how you could maybe look after them, and also the pros and cons of then owning a pair of these boots. To finish off the video, I'll show you just a couple of ways in which you can then style these. Sound good? 
Yeah, let's get to it. There's quite a lot there. Wow. First of all, all of the top part is this lovely soft leather. Okay, this is going to sound a little bit of a contradiction, but the leather itself is quite tough, so the shape of the boot is going to then stay intact. However, it is soft enough so that they are actually quite comfortable shoes. I will say that breaking these in, you will need a little bit of time because as I said before, the leather is quite tough, so you will need to then have just a couple of wears with this, just so it can then soften a little bit and mold to your foot. The middle section is more of this like elasticy feel. This gives you a really nice hugged effect on your leg, but also ease of then getting these shoes on. The two tassels at the top, I think, give this a slight military aesthetic, but I think that probably the main thing that sets these boots apart from others is the sole construction. Just above the sole, we have got this plasticky element that kind of does like a wave structure over the boots. I really like this, however, I will say that with prolonged wear, I am a little bit worried that this plastic is going to come away from the boots after they've then creased and stretched a little bit. The next layer down, we have a material that feels a little bit soft and squidgy. This matte finish, I think, works really well, but there are one or two cons that I think I will mention later on in the video that I think you need to be made aware of. The final thing is the clear sole at the bottom of this shoe. First of all, the tread of this is very chunky indeed. So if you are wearing this in winter, fantastic. This is going to give you a lot of tread so you're not gonna be slipping around and falling on your ass. I also really love the color of this, where it's slightly gray blue, which I think just gives a really nice aesthetic to these boots. Also, the way in which you can then pair this up with outfits, I think works really well because what doesn't go with these colors? There isn't anything else of note other than the Bottega lettering at the bottom, just to then reaffirm that you have got a pair of Bottegas. The toe cap is very solid, which I think is perfect so it doesn't then crease and also then lose its shape. Perfect. So those are the features of this boot. So now let's get into the pros and cons of these tire boots. <laughs> First off, one of the pros is that you can tell that this is quality. The quality of the materials here are very apparent. The leather is soft, yet it is very durable and hard wearing. Also, the sole is very hard and well wearing. It kind of gives me vibes of Doc Martens, which is a really good thing because those are practically bomb proof. And overall, the aesthetic I think looks really nice where you can then dress these in a whole host of ways, which I think is perfect because if you were then paying paying this amount of money on a pair of boots, you want to wear them. The overall comfort to this is sound after you get over those initial couple of weeks where they are a little bit hellish, I'm not gonna lie to you. Are they the outright comfiest footwear that I have ever got? No, not by a long shot, but I am comparing that to the likes of like Yeezys and things like that. So yes, they are comfy, but maybe not as comfy as what you think that the tread of this is going to allude to. Okay, so we've gone through a couple of the positives, but now I want to go through maybe a couple of the cons that I think that you need to be aware of before you then make a purchase. <laughs> First of all, I want to say that the overall aesthetic, it is quirky. You will get noticed with these. I have had one or two people that have then said, oh my god, lad, you're, you're boots. I think because I am quite a confident person anyway, I just kind of style it out. Whereas I think maybe some people will get these and feel a little bit conscious or maybe they won't like that sort of attention that has then been drawn to them. And I think that that is just basically personal preference. Now I have mentioned this before but I do have my reservations about this middle piece here which I think will eventually come away from the leather part of the boot because of the creases. Now this next one might just be for me and my walking gait so the way in which I walk it might be very different to you and you might not have this problem but I do want to make you aware. Right at the bottom of this you will see that there are some scuff marks. This middle piece this like foamy material well it's not foam it's really really hard but that material there what I was talking about, it picks up loads and loads of marks. And what I have then done is I have scuffed with the other boot, the sole, against this bit and it has left a residue which is an absolute mother to get off. Now I have not cleaned these up specifically for this video because I want to then give you a video where you can then see them after they have then been worn and loved. 
hopefully you appreciate that and you're not thinking, oh my God, what a scab. Like, he hasn't even cleaned up his boots for the video. Oh. The final thing, which is more of an annoyance rather than like a, oh, don't get the shoes, lad, is because these grooves are so deep, they pick up stones and it does my head in. There have been one or two times when I've picked up a stone, which is then like half in, half out the boot, and I'm then hobbling around, like I've got one leg bigger than the other. It's just really, really annoying. The final con, which is where I think Bottega really drops the ball, and this is where I do really have like a, an issue with them, is their care regime. Found it. So the only thing that you get when buying these boots in terms of care is this little slip here. You open this out and it gives you the world's smallest booklet and inside there is literally one page with your language where it then says what you should and shouldn't do. Which essentially is don't get them wet and store them in the dust bag. I could have told you that for free, you morons. I've spent a lot of money on these. I want to look after them tell me how I look after them. So what I did is I went onto the chat online to Bottega and they essentially were as useful as this booklet, which wasn't very useful. So I asked them about how I look after these and I said, you know, if it's for example snowing or if it's wet, what should I do? Like how should I maybe protect these? And they basically said, don't wear them out in the rain. Don't wear them in the snow. They shouldn't get wet. And that was it. These are real chunky boots. You will want to wear these in fairly inclement weather, unless you are genuinely wanting to then save these for best, and if so, fair enough. However, they basically didn't give me any information on if I should be applying anything to these boots to protect them, any like weather protect, any of like the spray to then keep like rain away. No, they didn't tell me anything. Now, I kind of used a little bit of guesswork, but it has not bit me in the bum so far. I did not use any of the weather protect, like any of the sprays or anything, because I did not want that to tarnish the leather in any way. However, one thing that I did use, and I've used this tip from my grandparents, and that is dubbing. Essentially, it looks a little bit like Vaseline, but it is a waxy polish. It is like a matte effect polish, which is perfect because I wanted these to stay like a matte finish. So far, it has worked superbly. I really like the fact that with this dubbing, because it is oil-based and oil and water do not mix, obviously, then that means that they are going to be protected from the weather elements to some extent. Before you ask on like how much dubbing you should be applying, I I would say little dabs and then apply when necessary. If you get a slight scuff or maybe a slight mark, use a little bit of dubbing and just rub it over, leave it for a moment and then just buff it out to then see how that mark does. If the mark is literally only like surface deep, and there isn't any leather that is actually perforated, then you should get away with it. Obviously, if the leather is scuffed, then yeah, you might need something a little bit more heavy duty like some actual polish. Okay, so that is my care regime. So finally, let's get into styling these boots. So I would say that I have got two main ways of wearing these boots. So the first way that I wear this is with some skinny jeans where the skinny jeans are tucked into the boots. I really like the skinny fit of the jeans and the top of the boots to then more of like a chunky finish at the bottom. They sort of give me the Balenciaga triple S vibes where they've got the skinny jean fit with then the chunky shoe, which I think just looks really on trend at the moment and is really fashionable. The next style that I've got is actually the style that I'm wearing today, which is more of a wide leg fit trouser. So I've got my Issey Miyake pleats on and they are then fitted over the top of the boots. You can't really see the full effect of the boots, but I still think that they look really, really nice. Now you will see quite a few times on Instagram where they will kind of like half tuck the trousers. So it's like half in, half out. I think it looks quite quirky. I personally don't wear it like this, but I have seen quite a few people wear it and they do really pull it off and I think it looks sick. And there we go, guys. That is the full review of the Bottega tire boots. Hope that you've enjoyed it and hope that you have found it somewhat informative and also that you have found it a little bit enjoyable as well. Now, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to then help me out a little bit, then why not head over to Sophisticated Obsession on Instagram and hit that follow button because that really helps me out. If you have found the video interesting and informative, then please hit that like button and smash 
that subscribe button. And there we go, guys. Hope that you have an amazing day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.